Today marks one month since Governor Maura Healey declared a state of emergency in Massachusetts over the migrant crisis. During a closed door meeting Thursday, state lawmakers pressed Lieutenant Governor Kim Driscoll and other administration officials to provide more detailed information about the flow of migrants into their communities, including the volume of people seeking housing and the overall price tag to the Commonwealth. State Senator Ryan Fatman told 22 News at least 80 migrants were placed at a hotel in Sutton over the Labor Day weekend but the town was never notified. I know in my hometown, having spoken with the hotel, the rooms that were contracted were contracted two weeks before anyone was dropped off. So if that's the case, why wasn't the town notified 10 days before, seven days before, five days before, not the day of drop off a few hours before? And here are some new numbers released by the state. Right now, there are roughly 6,200 families staying at emergency shelters in Massachusetts. That's around 20,000 individuals. About 2,500 families are staying in hotels and motels in 80 communities around the state. Governor Healy activated up to 250 National Guard members to help those emergency shelter hotels. They'll be on the ground starting next week.